I thought I would be getting locks when I was at least 60 years old because I had this image of myself and what I would want to look like. And it's like long, beautiful, straight hair or even like long, curly hair, but like really full and just luxurious like a lion's mane. But not everybody can have that look. And I, th I, I think like this era of natural hair has like skyrocketed in, in the past what like 10 15 years and i like, just saw all these beautiful manes of hair i'm like man i want that and i'm like well you can't all have the same hair so that has been my struggle wanting to have something that is not mine for so long ever since i was this big always wanting like long straight beautiful hair and although my hair has grown, it has taken me a very long time to get to this place. And um, I'm, I don't know if I'm here for it anymore. I moved out of the country and my life has slowed down tremendously and I'm starting to experience what peace is like. And I just feel like this hair and peace don't always like coincide. And I know that typically my hair would be considered good hair. I don't necessarily like that term because I feel like all of our hair is so freaking beautiful. And there's no such thing as good hair. It's just your hair. But for me, like, I think it's just like a lifestyle difference. Like for me, I don't, I don't want to stress about this. And I stress about this a lot and I moved to a tropical part of this new country and there's humidity in the air consistently, consistently. So anything I do with my hair, it just could put like whatever, you were trying to look cute, but not today. So I just feel like it, it's time. Like I wanna have a hairstyle that is as free as I feel like I wanna become. And I've always wanted dreads and <laughs> it's coming a lot sooner than I thought it would. But I, I just feel like my reasons behind it were severely outweighing not getting them. And so that I just wanted to share that with you and hopefully this helps someone that is debating whether they want to do it or not too. And so um, yeah, I'll go ahead and share my reasons. <laughs> okay. The number one reason I decided I'm gonna go ahead and just make the appointment. Let's just do this. I don't want to do this anymore. Decision fatigue. My inspiration for this randomly is Steve Jobs. <laughs> um, he would wear like basically the same outfit just to reduce decision fatigue. And when I heard that, I'm like, dang, that actually sounds kind of nice. But it, the idea of just limiting how much thought is wasted on appearance, sounded phenomenal to me. Now granted, I didn't really want to do that with my clothes. I absolutely believe that if I can cut out the thought of what the heck am I going to do with my hair in whatever state it decides to be in on that day, I think, I, I just feel like I'd be so much more peaceful. Uh, and happy maybe I don't I have no idea I'm gonna figure that out um, but I just feel like wow what a waste of mental space sometimes I'm just staring at myself in the mirror for like 10 minutes like what do I do with this buzz it off braid it up like put it in a bun which is where it's mainly at most of the time especially here but I just feel like you know what if I just didn't have to make that decision anymore <laughs> And that brings me so much joy, theoretically. I'll see. I'll see in the next like year how I feel. But number one reason, too much, too much thought power. I'm just, I'm kind of done with that. Reason number two, cutting ties with this Eurocentric view of beauty standards. Kind of like what I was saying in the, in the beginning of the video, like I wanted just long, beautiful, flowing hair. Like that is, oh, well, love. But guess what? This is what my hair does naturally. Well, a little tighter. I had it in braids. <laughs> but this is my hair. And I don't know. I just feel like it's kind of annoying that we feel like we need to blend in. I don't know. I think I'm just done with that. Like, stand out, honey. That's what I want to do. 
And it's not even necessarily, I guess, about standing out, but just embracing what my hair really is, what it can become naturally versus altering it to look like someone else. And I feel like the easiest way for you to walk out of alignment of who you are as a person is to try to be something or someone that you are not. That has been my life story up until very recently, I'm 31 years old. And I'm finally like, wait a minute, I have all this stuff on me that is not me. And so for me, I feel like I'm cutting ties with that mentality. I'm doing something for me that will make me happy and bring me peace. That is not the typical beauty standard and I don't care anymore. And that alone is so freeing. Reason number three, I went to mend my relationship with God. And I know this sounds really strange, but I don't know if you can relate, but sometimes when my hair is just completely unruly, I will get angry with God and be like, why did you do this to us? Why? <laughs> like, what is this? What is this texture? What are we doing here? I ask him those kind of questions and I'll rant about it to my siblings who honestly, they have, I think they have 4C hair so their struggles are worse than mine. But regardless, they are still struggles, unnecessary struggles, I, I feel like. And I will just be ranting like, man, why did God decide to just make our hair do this? It's such a struggle sometimes. And I don't wanna feel that way anymore. I feel like embracing this journey will allow me to clear my mind of those kind of thoughts. They weren't every day, but it was enough. It was enough to make me be like, do you hate us? <laughs> I mean, it was like really dramatic, but honestly, when you're in the depths of that annoyance, your mom would be saying all kinds of things. So that was that. Like I, I just, I feel like it's just another way for me to focus my intentions on something other than my appearance, AKA God. Like, I feel like that's, God, my parents, down, way down there. But like honestly, like it looks really nice right now and I feel like this is a send off or something. As I was walking outside, it does not get cold here. There's no fall, fall does not exist here. But the leaves were falling and my hair wasn't poofing up. I'm like, what is this? I'm just <laughs> accepting it as a farewell. So, thank you. Reason number four. I want to uh, develop better relationships. Also very weird, but hear me out. On the days when I'm struggling with my hair, to the point where I just want to get a razor and just, just get, it, get out of here, I become very annoyed. I can be a little mean, and my husband sees that side. <laughs> Uh, he makes jokes about it and it's all fun and games, but when we're going out, that has affected my mood. And now I'm going out feeling unconfident about myself, annoyed, and unfortunately, sometimes I do let it get the best of me. And I absolutely hate that. And I love my husband and he's put up with it for a long time. <laughs> and he loves me regardless and that is a beautiful thing. But I just want to take that out of the equation. Like, no more of that. I just want to be like, hey, I'm ready to go. Like, all right, my makeup's done. Like, I look good. Like, I, my hair is done. Just remove that completely. And I don't know, I just feel like that will, maybe that'll help in our relationship as well. And he's really excited for me to do this, partly because now he doesn't have to worry about seeing me in that state. So that's good. But also I feel like that also impacts how I see myself and how I think other people see me. If I'm going out and I feel uncomfortable in my skin, I feel like other people can see that and it makes me uncomfortable squared. And I'm just like, I'm over that. 
I just want to be me and I want people to see that and not what I am projecting them saying. I have that, does that make sense? Anyway, I feel like it's getting in the way of my ability to connect with people because I'm so concerned about what is my hair doing? My hair didn't turn out right. Well, you know what I mean? So we're gonna see if that works. And finally, my last reason, I genuinely feel as if locks just matches my lifestyle, matches my vibe, if you may. I've always been known as like the flower child or the hippie or the whatever you wanna call it. I don't care. I'm just a very chill person. And some, this is very high maintenance. I am literally the opposite of high maintenance. I don't do my nails. I barely do my eyebrows. I, it's a gamble if I put makeup on. Like I, I just wanna wake up and go. So I feel like this is the best option to match that lifestyle and match who I really feel like I am inside. And I'm excited to really embrace that, see what that looks like long-term. I'm ready to not worry about, oh, what's the humidity like outside? I wanna be able to just go swimming or work out without worrying about my edges or worrying about let me my straight hair curly or my curly hair curlier or like all these things. I'm just like, why am I just racking my brain with these thoughts and these, it's just all consuming. And I feel like locking it up, it's just like, I just feel like it's gonna be so much freedom. Like the more I'm talking about this, the more excited I'm getting. I'll update y'all though. I'll let y'all know if all these things are true. I have these in my notes, so I can come back to this and be like, perhaps actually, yes. This has brought peace in all of these areas. So I'm really excited for that. It's crazy, like I woke up and I just felt the urge to make this video. It's the weirdest thing. I, I've always wanted to do YouTube and I've just found every reason not to do it. But today it just hit me so heavy, like, man, I wanna make this video so hard. All my batteries are dead. None of my cameras were ready. Everything was against me today, but I done did this anyway. Overall for this channel, like I don't want this channel to just be about my hair because there's so much more that I would love to share. I am a holistic health nutritionist and wellness coach. I've been studying this stuff for years. It is absolutely fascinating how the body can heal when you give it what it needs. Like absolutely fascinating. And I just wanna share everything I'm learning because it's stuff that will absolutely change our lives. God literally put everything on this earth for us that we need to be whole. And so I just wanna share in whatever way I can, what I'm learning, uh, whether it's about what we eat, think, uh, what we do, what we don't do. Like I just want, I wanna just pour all that out. Cause it's, it's in here and it needs to get out of here. Also it'll help me to be accountable to myself because I wanna be good to myself. I want to be better to myself and I want everyone to do the same. And it also just feels like I'm embracing holism more because I'm allowing my hair to just be. I'm no longer trying to micromanage my hair, stressing out about it, stressing people around me about it. Like, no, I'm just going to be. It sounds so nice. Be anxious for nothing. And honestly, I just believe locking my hair will allow me the freedom, the peace to do more of this. So locking my hair is just a part of this journey. And I don't know, I would love for you to join me. I would love to be able to help people. Honestly, that is genuinely all I want to do with my life. So I don't know, hang around if you desire. I might just be talking to the, the wind here. But I can say, that I did it.